Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Friday. I trust everyone is safe and well. Today we welcome back Andrew Cole with a survey and terrain class, which should have happened on Tuesday, but for the public holiday. As always, please feel free to use the text chat service in your GoToWebinar app to ask us any questions you may have during Andrew's presentation. So, good afternoon, Andrew, and please take it away. Good day. In today's webinar, we're going to be having a look at the cross-section extraction functionality in Soil Designer's Terrain module so that you can produce cross-sections like this uh, landfill project of mine. Okay, just out of interest, I'm going to show you this landfill project. Um, this is a excavation cell. It's about six meters deep. I think it's two, three hundred meters across. Okay, so the bottom section here is it's been excavated, and then it's filled in in phases. So. This has been designed with terrain strings. You can see that's phase one, phase two of the full. Just working out quantities and the shaping of, of the landfill site. So here we lifting out of the ground, phase five and phase six. So there would be ramps built where the trucks can drive up and then dump into the, the landfill site. So there's a, a soil designer sheet file plot looking at your cross sections and then this is just a, a drawing that I've taken, a plotted drawing and just added a bit of annotation to it. Okay, so this was the landfill project and I won't be using this particular project for our cross-section extraction today, but um, I will come back to it at a later stage just to show you how we extract uh, cross-sections for various um, surfaces or road layers. Okay, so for today's webinar, I'm going to go back to my pond and platform uh, project and I'm going to be in the terrain application. Okay, so I just want to switch off the road. So I'm just going to go to the display settings. Okay, I'm just going to switch off the roads and then switch the shading on for that surface 31. So this is my platform that we initially designed as a string with the terrain string and then converted it to a terrace surface at a later stage. Okay, so I'm looking at extracting cross sections across here. So we need to know how wide to extract our cross sections. So just using the Q shortcut key, Q to measure, and then just selecting my points. It's about 95 meters. Okay, then I must just right click to restart to measure again just this longer length in case we need to do cross sections through there as well about 140 meters so you just have to when you're extracting your cross section you obviously want to extract wide enough so that you pick up all the data okay so we're looking at the terrain cross section functionality a couple of options there's the traditional extract and then there's the faster method where you can select uh, to go between two points or along an existing CAD line. I'm going to look at the traditional extract um, cross-section method first. Okay, and this requires a road file so I'm just going to go to the roads application. So even if you don't have the roads module you'll still be able to access some of the road functions. So I'm just going to file select road file so normally when you're starting a new civil designer project and you're adding a terrain file we automatically add a default road file which you can then use for cross-section extraction um, but in this case this project's already got a whole lot of roads so i need to add 
a road file or at least select which road I want to work with. So in this case I'm adding a new road file and you can see road 58 is an empty road that I've been given to use. So I'm calling my road platform cross sections. The generate method shouldn't really make a difference but I'm just going to select the cross section method and then your road cross section layers the first one would be natural ground and then your design I'm calling platform. So we're going to be extracting cross section data from the ground and platform terrain surfaces and storing that information to the road cross section layers. We firstly need to specify the alignment along which Civil Designer needs to extract our cross sections. So I'm going to alignment horizontal. The grayed out functions are the road functions that are not available if you only have the terrain module. So I'm going to go to alignment horizontal graphical insert. So we're graphically going to insert the alignment for our cross section extraction. So just the start point of my alignment, I'm calling it start. Okay, so that's the start point and then the end point. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a straight line and this would be my end point, so end point of intersection or end PI. And then when you've finished, you just right click and finish. You can also just click and move those PI points into position. Or you could always use graphical move to move them at a later stage. Okay, so next up would be the coordination. So we need coordinates all along our alignment. That's alignment horizontal coordinate. And it picks up your start and stop chainage. I'm just going to coordinate at the 5 meter interval, you can set whatever chainage interval you'd like to have your cross sections extracted at. So you can see now it's displaying the alignment. There are some additional lines that I could go into the band layout uh, in the display settings and switch off those additional road lines that are displaying those, which is some default road lines that you might see if you have been working on a project that had an existing road or has some roads in it. Okay, so I'm just setting the chainage marker to 10 meters and the chainage label interval to 10 meters as well. So we're just displaying a line at a zero offset from our inserted alignment. So it's the zero offset that I'm using. And that would be the, the main alignment that we've specified. Okay, so we'll just have the main center line along our alignment visible. So you can see over here in the output bar, we've got all the coordinates at each chainage along that center line or alignment. And we're going to be extracting our cross sections perpendicular to that alignment from each um, center line coordinate. So I'm changing to the terrain application so that we can extract our cross section. So it's terrain cross section extract. So our platform was about 95 meters wide so I'm going to make it about 60 meters just to go a little bit wider so we pick up all the cross section data. So 60 meters to the left, 60 meters to the right. We're extracting this information from our ground DTM surface. We're storing it to that natural ground road layer. So the road layer one. Extracting it from the lines, the DTM break lines or feature lines. We have got an option to use strings models, so roads or terrain strings, but I won't use that in this case. You can see it runs the extraction and you can see at every 5 meter chainage interval it's extracted cross section data. If you want to then view that cross section data you'd go to the section editing 
functionality which is in the roads application so just back to roads and then under the cross section or section pull down menu section graphical edit you can then view your cross section so you can indicate a change by clicking or you can press escape to go to the start change so i've just pressed escape and then you can see it's displaying the change zero the first cross section in my alignment okay and then you use the page down key to scroll through your cross sections just moving that dialog a little bit so we can see in the plan view at which cross section or which position we are so just keep using the page up and page down keys to pan through your cross sections okay so we've got our cross sections extracted through the natural ground our ground surface but we also need uh, cross sections through our design surface through the platform. So I'm running that terrain cross sections extract again. And this time I'm extracting the cross section data from our design surface, the platform, and we're storing it to a separate or second road layer, that road layer that we call platform. Okay, and we're extracting the data from the brake lines. Okay, so it's run through the extraction process. That cross-section data is stored as an offset from the alignment and an elevation pair. So it'll be the distance away from your alignment and the elevation that it picks up wherever it intersects with the brake line. So to view our cross-sections, I'm just going back to the roads application and we're going to go to section graphical edit. And in this case, I'm just going to click at the particular point where I want to view that cross section. So you can see now we've got the ground data and the design surface displaying. And remember the page up and page down. So moving forward, increasing change direction is page down. Those little vertical lines are wherever there was an intersection between the cross section line and your brake lines. If you want to change the line settings, you can go to that three line icon, the line settings, you can select which lines you want to display and which colors to use for your cross section lines. You could also switch on the terrain or road strings model in your cross section. So I think I am going to show you how to use the strings model in a cross section extraction as well. So we're going to add a new road file. So I'm just going to file select road file again to add a new road file to work with. And I'm going to be using that fast cross section extraction. So it's fast cross sections. And which terrain surface do we want to extract um, the ground data from? It's that base earthworks. The road cross section layers, I'm just going to leave them as natural ground and platform. You can see the road file that you're going to be working with in the tabbed drawing name over there. Okay, and then I'm changing to the terrain application to extract those cross sections. So this time I'm going to be using the fast cross section between two points. So you're just graphically indicating your first point and the second point that alignment that you want to now extract your cross sections from it's picked up the road file and i'm leaving it at 10 meter intervals for the cross sections this um, platform was a little bit wider from the left to right so i'm going to make that 100 meters so we can extract all the data and i'm using the strings model so this particular platform was initially a terrain string, so I'm extracting that information from the original terrain string that we used to design the platform. You can see the offset and elevation pairs that were generated here in the output window. Okay, and then we can just view those cross sections again. So back to the roads application and that section graphical edit. Okay, 
So remember, escape would take you to the first chainage along that alignment, which we in this case defined um, graphically with the fast cross-section extraction. Okay, the settings here, I just want to show you, I'm not seeing the line. So it's the active line that would initially display if you're outside your design surface. So I've just changed that to the active line to line 1, which in this case is the natural ground. And then I'm also changing the pen to a red pen. And I want to activate the strings model. So we haven't extracted through the design surface. We just want to automatically see the terrain strings model in the cross section. So now if I page down through the cross sections, once we enter the design surface area, you'll see the blue line is the actual platform surface. So that automatically now would be picked up. So this is an enhancement to the cross section extraction. We're now showing the strings model entities. So be it a road or platform string in your cross-section extraction. Okay, to show you the plot routine, the plotting of our cross-sections, I'm just going to select the initial cross-section alignment that we inserted. So it's that first road file that we used. You can see that in the tab drawing title as well, the platform cross-sections. Then I'm going to plot generate and selecting the all points or the cross-section all points sheet file or plot template. I'm going to be plotting layouts that dynamically update. In this dialog, the cross-section data you'd like to plot to the left of the lineman needs to be inserted as a negative value. And then to the right would be positive. The spacing between your cross sections can be set in this section interval. Zero would plot all the generated cross sections. My start chainage, I just want to start the cross sections at um, my design surface. So we have got the ground and the design surface, and I'm going to end it at 120. And then the order scroll just plots additional pages so that you can plot all your cross sections. You can also specify which lines, cross section lines you'd like to plot. So in this case, just the natural ground and our platform design surface. So there we've run the plot routine and you get all your cross sections plotted. I'm going to zoom in here to one of them so we can see what it looks like. So there you have your plotted cross-section of the ground and design surface and then your offset and elevation values. In this case would be the values for the ground surface, but you could in the sheet file editor go and specify which offsets you'd like to be plotting and labeling and then from which surfaces as well. So you could add your design surface uh, elevations and offsets to be plotted as well or you could use the normal um, cross-section sheet file to plot with the normal cross-section sheet file would give you the ground and the design surface uh, information and that's all I've got time for today until next time cheers thank you Andrew that was great and thank you to all who attended today Please remember, if you would like any further information with regards to Civil Designer's Survey and Terrain module, please use the email listed on your screens now, or visit our website. See you next week Tuesday at the same time and same place using the same link. Have a fantastic weekend, and goodbye for now.